Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today with me is Aisha, aka Painted by Aisha from Instagram. Do support her page. Today we are going to recreate one of Zuchu's look from her song Zukari. Thumbs up to the makeup artist who did an amazing bomb look that we were tempted to recreate. Stay tuned and enjoy watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. I've learned some new tricks on how to master feather eyebrows, which inshallah I'll come and do a video and share with you all. To me to me uh, adhesive duo lash glue, kuzi stick, and then I use my eyebrow gel to create like feather effect, like just a straight, yani making sure I see, see neat like the way I always uh, do my eyebrows. Inshallah soon I'm going to do a video showing step by step on how I achieve the feather eyebrows. And to clean her eyebrows, I use a concealer and I smoothen with a damn beauty blender. Let's be friends on my other social media accounts. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. For my eyeshadow, ni metumia the Nubian by Juvia's Place uh, palette. Started off to, by blending the brown warm shade all over her lid and I'm using a fluffy blending brush from BH Cosmetics. I did the same on the other eye, making sure there's no harsh line. One thing I always recommend is Take your time blending your eyeshadows to get uh, eyeshadows ambazo hazina harsh lines. And as you can see, I used a yellow shade to blend na iwe kama transition yangu. So I'm playing between the yellow shade and the warm brown shade to diffuse the harsh lines and making it look flawless. Now I switch to a smaller brush, a pencil brush, and na tumia the dark brown from the palette to create like a C from her outer corner. And blending it softly to her crease line that is I'm trying the brown to be diffused uh, so as to see when any harsh lines but still the colors to marry each other and now I'm using the glam vice uh, retro liners these eyeliners are so easy to use and uh, yani they activated with water so how to use it after you've added the drop of water you mix it to get it into a thick paste form ndo iwe easy kutumia and i'm trying to draw like a v shape mwisho something like kufata crease line yake and i'm using a, also a glam vice a eyeliner brush that i also purchased uh, with the glam vice uh, retro liners these I purchased from Asmini Beauty and I think uh, it's worth uh, having it in your kit. Kindly check her out. Using the same pencil brush from Mofi, na blend with uh, black eyeshadow kwenye yo eyeliner. So you see we, like a harsh line. Only on the top layer as you can see. Chini ni mefanya vile vile like a wing liner. But kwa juu ni, me, yani ni me blend with a black eyeshadow. The idea is to work fast before the eyeliner dries down kwa sababu the moment eyeliner itakauka hata uki blend na eyeshadow ya black still the harsh line ya eyeliner itakuwa yaonekana so try working fast like you saw nimefanya one eye kisha nikafanya the other eye and now I'm joining the eyeliner to the inner corner but make sure when you're going down to the inner corner eyeliner iwe thin And to blend the rest of the inner corner, ni metumia Morphe X Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette. I mix shade uh, What's the Tea and Wake and Back. These are warm green shades that uh, I, I blended to diffuse the harsh line between the black and the inner corner. So ask when uh, transition. And for the pink liner that was from the inspo photo of Zuchu, I used the same brand uh, Glam Vice Retro Liner in a pink shade with the same brush from the same brand i created a thin line to join to the outer corner when you v-shape on top of the black liner 
I ended up feeling like the liner was on the purple side, more on the purple side that I didn't like and uh, ended up using Fenty Beauty color eyeliners in the shade pink. Now I used the same brush to draw on top of the purple liner so as they blend together. Nimeregelea line yetu ya eyeliner ya black kwa sababu the pink ended up messing my black liner zikawa yani kuna harshness. So I ended up using back my eyeliner and that is from W7. And to achieve that underneath glow, you all know my drill. I love using liquid highlighters before foundation. And this is from SSB Beauty. She is a Kenyan owned brand that uh, launched not uh, long ago. Kindly check her out for makeups and so much more. Her prizes are worth purchasing. Ni meitumia on her center parts, uh, like uh, her cheeks, center of the forehead, nose and chin. Ili ku bring that uh, inner glow. Hato kipaka foundation, the glow stays in within. Not like kupaka highlighter nyingi on top. That's how I find uh, the highlighter stays flawless. Foundation ni metumia Kat Von D. Lock it foundation in the shade number 77. Deep warm na number 78 deep neutral to achieve her skin color. Nimetumia one pump from each foundation to get her skin color. And as you can see the foundation has full cover yet it yani yabakisha like a radiant finish, velvety. Yani it's one of my best foundations. Na to blend it nime spray Morphe spray on the beauty blender so as the foundation blends beautifully. To highlight the center of her face, nimetumia Huda Beauty over Achiever Concealer and uh, Too Faced uh, Sculpting Concealer to brighten, her, to brighten the center of her face. I mixed the two shades because uh, nimeona Huda Beauty was too light and the Too Faced was too dark for her. So nime mix together to get uh, something warm that will blend in with her skin color. And to blend it, I'm using a real technique uh, concealer brush. And to cream contour, nimetumia black cup contouring stick number five. Nimetumia the dark side since the light the light side ilikuwa too bright uh, for her, like almost her skin tone. So nimetumia the dark side because I prefer going deep with the contour stick. Then later go lighter with the powders so as it blends diffusely like it you see on a can like there's too much powder on her skin and i used a real technique uh, contouring brush later nika blend na beauty blender so as everything uh, blends together and then i may add again a tiny bit of uh, the light concealer just to brighten the inner corner of the eye just the inner corner I did so, so as to brighten her under eye kwenye inner corner. And now I'm using cream blush kutumia kama bezi yangu ya badai ni kijani kipaka blush. As we all know, the first thing that disappears from face is blush. So when you use a cream blush, it acts as a base. Hato kijo kipaka blusha, hata ikipotea, kidogo the cream blush ya saidia to make it stay put. And one thing that I've mastered ni kutumia powder before translucent powder. I did this trick when I was going to a wedding and I was in a hurry. Yani sikuweza kufata all the steps so nika end up kutumia two powder. And what amazed me, my makeup stayed input kwa under eye yangu kwa sababu I have fine lines and wrinkles. What surprised me is my makeup stayed put for so long without breaking. I ended up using this as a new technique in my salon. So I start uh, by yani ku blend uh, under eye na beauty blender kisha na set na trans na hiyo compact powder then later I use the translucent on top of it a little bit of the translucent as you saw in the video try this technique and tell me how you find it and now I'm setting the rest of the face with the Zikel uh, contour palette like uh, the rest of the face kwenye cheekbone side side of her cheeks uh, uh, kwenye forehead, kwenye chin, and now I'm contouring with the same palette from Zikel Cosmetics. This is a must have. When I tell you it's a must have, like it plays with so many colors, so many skin tones, 
and uh, it's an advantage because sabab you don't need to have so many powders uh, for different skin tones all you find them in one palette actually i even use this palette to set the under eyes so check out uh, zikel cosmetics for this palette and uh, you let me know how you find it now to dilute all the powders i'm using morphe spray and to highlight her face nimetumia jacqueline hill cosmetics loose highlighter in the shade megawatt what i like to do with highlighters like uh, loose highlighters ama uh, cream is i don't wait for the makeup fixer to dry kabisa i find it like the powder effect ya bakia your skin like you can feel like there's a uh, powder on the face but when you master it uh, before haijakauka kabisa it dilutes like with the makeup fixer ya dilute pamoja it looks like her skin yani the glow is in her skin also try this technique and tell me how you find it and i uh, used a blusher from bh cosmetics to blush her cheeks and now i'm underlining her waterline with ferrarucci pencil black pencil to her tight line na ku blend under eye yake nimetumia jacqueline hill cosmetics highlighter palette in the style the flare nikatumia shade tant on ambayo ni blusher from the palette but the palette the blusher is so pigmented like even when you're using it as a blusher you have to be very careful because it has like a sheer shimmer that yani brightens like wazimu so you have to be very careful so i decided only to use that shade for her under na ku highlight her in a corner natumia shade exposure from the same jacqueline hill highlighter palette and i'm dusting off yani whatever imeanguka kwa uso wake natumia the same eyeliner ya w7 to join her in a corner alafu na regelea on kokote ambako unaona like uh, the pink imeziba eyeliner on all the areas ambazo unaona eyeliner ya pink imeshuka zaidi kwenye ile eyeliner black for her lips nimetumia two first melted matte lipstick in the style uh, it's happening this is a bright pink that i used so as to follow the inspo nimeona leo fanyiwa zuchu zuchu ametumia lipstick a bright pink alafu aka add uh, some sprinkles on top that we couldn't find on time and uh, we used uh, stones instead and here is our final look guys from our inspo that zuchu created on her song sukari I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed creating this look for you.